Let's dive right into my three-step method, the Alkestis method. First of all, how are you feeling right now on a scale from zero, below 10 is I'm feeling horrible, I'm feeling anxious, I'm feeling depressed, like really depressed. Zero is harmonious, normal. Uh, 10 is, ooh, I'm ecstatic. <laughs> Three, of, four, four of the minus. Okay, minus four. Could you circle it on your thing? And I hope by the end of this session, I trust and I believe that you're going to move forward in a more positive state. Would that be good for you? Yes, great. That's what we're here for, right? To do the transformation from fear to freedom, as I say, or any other transformation uh, that you're looking for. So in one or two sentences, what would you say is your biggest complaint lately? I'm very tearful and I have a big fear of rejection. Okay, let's... Um, very tearful is describing it, but what's the complaint about in your life? It's me. It's you. Complaint that your moods couldn't be more uh, better? Like, the complaint that you're feeling down recently? Yes. Complaint that you have low energy? Oh, like no, that? I have energy, I have energy. Okay. I just want to isolate. Okay, complaining, you're, you're, you're upset with the fact that you just want to, f you feel isolated. I'm just easily tearful. Easily tearful. Okay, can, if you want, please write that down. My biggest I complaint, have. okay. My biggest complaint is that I find myself going into tears for no particular reason. It tends to be about being alone. Okay, so we're gonna say, my biggest complaint is that I feel lonely and isolated. Like that. Yeah. It's around this topic. But it's not the truth, but it's how I feel. Right, right. Feel we'll unloved. get to the truth. Don't yeah. worry, this is what this exercise is all okay. about, getting to the truth. Yeah. Uh, so I'm glad you're on board with that. So once you say, my biggest complaint is this feeling of loneliness, isolation, self-isolation. What would you say that deep down inside is the fear? Not being loved. Not being loved. Okay. I think that's very good. Mm -hmm. Very good. You want to jot that down? Uh, I've done it. My biggest fear is that I'm, I'm not going to be loved I've enough. I've done it. Okay. Beautiful. Um, now, if you're not loved in your life, if that happens, what is a bad or negative consequence that may occur? I'm on my own. I'm on my own. Okay, that's bad. No one, lo no, no one loves me. I'm, I'm on my own. Okay, beautiful. I'm, I'm, I'm very grateful that you're being so open and vulnerable about it and open because you may be helping some other people. There is a loneliness epidemic and this video may help some other people. Now, if that happens, if the, you're all alone, what's the worst, worst, worst consequence that can happen? That no one loves me. No one cares about me. That um, mm -hmm. my children will reject me. Everybody will reject me. Everybody will reject you. Yeah. I'll feel rejection. I'll feel alone. That's the worst rejection. Rejection. Yeah. It's always been all my life. Wonderful. Now, on a deeper level, this all implies, what would that imply about you as a person? I'm not a good, I'm a bad person. I make mistakes. I'm not Excellent. To be I'm a bad person. I'm unworthy Worthy. of love. Yeah. I'm untrustworthy. Yeah. This is the core. So now we really reach the core of the, the, the issue. You see, we start out superficially, I feel lonely, blah, blah, and we get to the real core, the real issue. And when you say this to yourself, I'm unworthy, I'm not worthy of love, how does it make you feel when you repeat this inner narrative to yourself? I'm unworthy of love, uh, no one's gonna love me. Angry. Yeah, describing it is good, I feel angry but also number-wise, on a scale from one to 10. Oh, okay. Again, below 10, zero, 10. How does it make you feel 
Uh, does it make you feel like below 10, like very depressed or below seven? When you believe that story that you're un, not worthy of love. Minus three, I suppose, minus four. Minus three, minus four. Okay, just circle it because mm -hmm. we like to take note. So slightly depressed, we could say, if we, if we give it in words, we can say slightly depressed, a little low, uh, below three. So physically, emotionally, mentally, you're falling. Excellent. You're doing great. You're doing great so far. Okay. We're going to pass your inner narrative, this inner story, this deep fear that you're telling yourself. We're going to pass it through three filters. The first filter is, is it really true? For example, let's be more specific. Are you dramatizing? Are you generalizing? Are you over-personalizing? Sometimes people take things personally. Someone has told them something. In this case, it's something you're telling yourself. Over-personalizing. Over-personalizing, maybe a little dramatizing. Well, no. I don't tend to do you're it You're not much of a drama queen, no, knowing I'm you. No, I'm not. Uh, so <laughs> I don't it's, think so, anyway. Yeah, maybe over-personalizing. So let's just circle that one or tick self -obsessed it. Self-obsessed is what I would say. Okay, I'm self-obsessing. You See, I didn't even think of that. Just you can add it as a note. Perhaps I'm self-obsessing a bit. I'm self-obsessing. I know, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's so. um, familiar. Okay, so now ask yourself, once you realize now that you've been a bit self-obsessing, is your thought, you're not lovable, you're, you're going to stay alone and abandoned, is it 100% true? No. No. Excellent. Circle no, please. Is it a little true? Is it like 10% true? Are you really unlovable? Because some people say, no, it's completely false. Or maybe there's a little truth to it. I'm not really there that. There probably is a bit of truth because I'm not perfect. Okay, so we can, we can tick off. It's only maybe 10% true or below 10% true. Mm -hmm. We tick that off. So you've been telling yourself a story that's like maybe 5% true, but you've been believing it as if it's 100% true. Mm. And you're only coming now to realize this discrepancy between truth and what's going on in your head, which is, uh, as Socrates would say, we deceive ourselves a lot, many mm. of the time. We lie to ourselves mm. for various reasons. We lie to ourselves, we deceive, we believe the lie we're telling ourselves. I'm unworthy, I'm gonna die lonely, I'm gonna be a this, I'm gonna So and, we And you pick on you fasten on every criticism that anybody makes. Right. And you slap it on, add that to your I'm no good. Excellent. I know Excellent. I know it is um, you know, the my logic and my that sometimes it's, you've got you know, there's two selves, isn't there? There's yeah. the, the, the mind and the the emotional and the emotional is yes, completely yeah. different. Sometimes it hijacks the brain. It hijacks my logic, but I find I want somebody to verify that my logic is right. That's exactly what we're doing here. I struggle really hard to verify that. You're at zero. Excellent. So let's circle zero. We've made a little progress. Excellent. Okay. I'll just repeat that again. So now how do you feel below? from below 10? You were at below three. After you realize now that you've been kind of deceiving yourself, repeating a narrative that isn't yeah, so true. I know, I know it isn't. You know, that my logic and my, it's, you know, there's two selves, isn't there? There's yeah. the, the, the mind and the, the emotional, and the emotional is completely different. Sometimes from hijacks the it brain. It hijacks my exactly. logic, but I find I want somebody to verify that my logic is right. That's exactly and what I we're doing here. I struggle really hard to verify that that maybe I'm not like I am. I want other people to well, affirm Well, this that. is exactly what this three-step method is doing. It's helping you verify for yourself that your logic is indeed very correct and that your uh, self-obsessing, little dramatizing, this is, has been telling you lies, deceiving you. It's a little voice, it's talking it's to so you. It's so hard when you when you're in the crisis, and we'll get to, to that. To get out of that and believe the right. good. Absolutely. What we're doing here, though, is putting the groundwork. No. Uh, later on, it's I'll It's like a fear to let go of it, actually. It's a, yeah, because we're addicted to it. We really, mm. it's a habit. Let's put mm. it this way. Yeah. We're trying to break a habit right here. Mm. You just keep having that thought. You keep having that narrative. Now we're trying to break out of that narrative. 
first we have to realize, oh my God, I've been lying to myself. Excellent. Now we move to the second filter. Remember I told you there's three filter? The second, so we realize it's not true. How about, is it kind? No. It's kind when you do this, because you're doing this habit. Is it kind to yourself? No. no. You answered it for yourself. If someone else were to come in and talk to you like that, and tell you, you're not lovable, you're good for nothing, you're lonely, you're gonna stay lonely and bitter. Wouldn't you say, get out of my space? So now we're going to the second filter, you realize that it's not kind towards yourself. And um, I want you to just look at this diagram of the old lady and the young lady, okay? What do you see in this diagram? Do you see an old lady or a young lady? I see the young lady. You see a young lady looking back towards the horizon. No, I, I, that way. Yeah. Hmm. Do you see the old lady looking forward no, with a I'm big, big to, chin? Yeah, I'm having to sort of big, work big that chin. one out. I haven't, can't quite it's see It's okay. The As I'm lady. talking, you may, it may come to the surface because yeah, this no, is... No, I see the young lady. You see the young lady. The old lady here is her chin, big chin. Her In lips. Black. Oh, yeah, she's okay. wearing black. This is her big nose. Okay, she has a big profile. It's a profile. No, I can't see her at all. Well, that's very interesting because this is an example, and it will dawn on you as we're talking. You keep mm -hmm. looking at the illusion. And this is an optical illusion, uh, as optical illusions often are. Mm -hmm. Life itself is an optical illusion. It's how you're going to choose to see things. The Stoics say it's not what's happening to us, but how we observe and perceive what's happening to us. So this is a very good metaphor for sometimes we're just stuck in one perspective. And you can open your horizon, pull back from the screen, and see that there's other ways of looking at your reality. It's how we choose to see the illusion of life. Mm. Perspective is everything. So now the third and last filter is, is that narrative that you've been telling yourself, is it useful to you? No. Let's circle that no, big and O. It, it's not... Because if you keep repeating the same old thoughts, you're getting the same results. Mm. You're generating the same results. Mm. And so it's this narrative you've been telling yourself is neither true, nor kind, nor useful. Okay? And it's great that you've made it through the three filters. And now we want to move to the transformation. Okay? Let's imagine for a moment what could you be, or who could you be, if you didn't have that narrative? So confident. Exactly. You could be a more confident person, mm -hmm. a more joyful person, perhaps. Perhaps a yes, more. I don't think I really experience joy much. Exactly. I could be. I could be. Hypothetically, we're saying, who could I be if I didn't have that confidence, thought? Confidence, joy. That's all I need. Confidence and joy. Confidence and joy. You could become a more confident and joyful person. Mm -hmm. Excellent view. What sort of thoughts would you have instead of? That's difficult. Oh, I'm know. so lonely. Oh, uh, poor me. What um, kind of thought would you have if you were a more I confident? I struggle with that. You struggle with that? I do a. I do a. Um, gratitude list with a friend regularly okay. but I struggle with you know it's just the usual things I'm grateful that I have a roof over my head I have my sons that okay so ex excellent so look it's excellent that you've already started a gratitude journal and waking up with gratitude listing gratitude like anything gratitude is a habit mm. and you've taken the years to build up the old you so, yes, it does take some inner work, some practice, but like when you're lifting weights, if you keep practicing, the new thoughts will actually build new neural connections in your brain. And you will begin to adopt this as a habit, a new habit. So, you said it very wisely, the sort of thoughts you would have instead of, oh, poor me, would be more like, I'm grateful for this, 
for that, or um, I have so much to be thankful for, or another thought, I'm, I'm just helping you out here, would be maybe I should just call a friend, or maybe I should join a group therapy, or maybe I should join a workshop at uh, Dr. Agio's as you've come here today. So already, that's the whistling wind. We have wind here in Greece, a beautiful uh, Aegean wind. So maybe we can talk about that later. Yeah, what kind Group of thoughts therapy. would you have instead? You're, you were on the right track. I would have more grateful thoughts. I would have more mm. positive thoughts. What else thoughts instead of, oh, poor me, what's the actual? To, to make a, if you ask me to make a list of my positives, I would struggle. Okay. Struggle, I, but not impossible. Uh, it's really hard. I struggle. That's why I we're here. I can do computers. Um, I suppose I could add that. I have a, you know, I find uh -huh. technology really easy. No, I'm not saying what you would do. I'm saying what kind of thoughts would you have instead? Uh, instead of, oh, poor, lonely me. At that very moment, what thought could you have instead? It's like a computer program. You just change the text, change the program, and say, what would I think instead? You, you said it yourself. I would, be, I would have more grateful thoughts. Yes. I'm grateful for my health. I'm grateful for my home. I'm grateful for living in a warm country. Blah, blah, blah. You would have more, you said it yourself. I didn't. So what would your, Okay, so we said that. Let's just jump over to the last bit. What would your life look like if it did not exist? Yes, what would your life look like if, it, if you didn't have these self-pity thoughts? Just imagine for a moment. Just be more joyful. More joyful life. A more uh, joyful... Less anxious. Less anxious. Full of joy, full of... Positive things, really. Less anxious. Less anxious. We're not saying to eradicate anxiety, but you would generally have instead of a hundred percent, it would be five percent. Achieve anything anxiety. It's not positive. Right. right. So you would be more willing to let go of your anxious thoughts. Yeah. Yes. You wouldn't hold on to them so much, and in turn, the result would be a more joyful, flowing, confident life. Yes. Definitely. Okay. Excellent. Um, now, the, you know, we've come to the real issue. Could you imagine letting go of your old narrative? And you only have two choices. Yeah. I yes, I can imagine letting go. Yes. No, I can't imagine. Yes, I can imagine. Yes, okay, going. let's tick off. Yes, I can imagine. But I, uh... Let's be more specific. By when are you interested in experiencing this joy and freedom that you just spoke about? A year from now. You decide, a month from a now? A month from now. A definitely. week from now? A month from starting now. Starting tomorrow, or here and now I choose to let go? Oh, you take off what's, what's honest for you. I want to take this opportunity and say, I I'd choose. love to be able to say right now, but I... <laughs> I'm saying... Let's get, by when are you interested in experiencing the freedom? Oh, not actually now, obviously. Right, if you could have it here and now. Yeah, I would. You if would so choose here and now. Somebody could inject it and eradicate it all, yeah. Yeah, that's all I'm asking. When would you have it if you could have it? Now. Okay, so now, tick that off. I want it here and now. I want freedom here and now. Can I just hear you say that statement? I, I want freedom I want here. Freedom. I want joy here and now. I want joy here and now. And you just say it a little louder. I want joy here and now. Say, I choose joy here I and now. I choose joy here and now. Okay, excellent. Now, I in choose. clear writing, I could choose. you? Yeah, I choose joy. Here and I choose joy, you could add another one. I choose joy and freedom here and now. I, I choose, choose joy. Confidence. Here and, and confidence now. here confidence and now. Confidence here and now. Excellent. And belief in my own opinion. I'm loving it. I'm lo if there was a crowd here, they would be cheering. <laughs> so, excellent. You've done a lot of work, and I know it's intense. We've been very focused. Um, usually this would drag on for a whole session, but I wanted to keep it tight for our viewers on YouTube. And I like my viewers on YouTube, 
who have gone through the same process, please share your comments below and uh, tell us what your new narrative is. How do you feel now? Like, remember in the beginning of this exercise, one. below 10, zero, 100% is plus 10. Plus one, plus two. Plus two, plus two, put a nice two. So you've moved from, where were you when we first minus started? Minus three, minus four. Minus three, minus four, excellent. Minus four, right? Your new narrative has moved you to plus two. Excellent. Wow, I wish I could cheer you on right now. Like, I would have clapped to you, you've done amazing work. Very little resistance. Now, I want you to just bring your attention. Here I have a link, a link mm -hmm. to an MP3 that our viewers uh, know also from YouTube, algistis.net slash free mp3, okay, wait. And you can use this mp3 to practice your new affirmation. It's a deep relaxation mp3 that you can listen to once a day or once a week, whatever, but minimum once a week, and have this new affirmation um, help enter your subconscious if you want to practice it. Otherwise, just practice it all day long. When you're about to have a self-pity thought, you flip it and you use the new narrative. How does that sound? Does that sound like mm. something you can do? Yeah, yeah. So I did work with? A week from, excellent. I did tapping for a while. I found that really it's, helping. You can combine it with tapping or combine it with... Really excellent. I love it. My God, she deserves it. <laughs> She's incredible. <laughs> Okay. Download a free exercise from my book, From Fear to Freedom, The Three Golden Principles of Greek Philosophy.